Hi, this is T3.com in Las Vegas, Nevada for CES 2010, the world's biggest tech show. And day two really is when all the events start kicking off here. All of the press conferences have mainly taken place by now as the sun sets over Las Vegas. And Rhi and I are going to be bringing you the biggest news from the day. Now, before we get started on Wednesday's news, we thought we'd bring you a really newsworthy snippet from Tuesday evening, from the wee hours when you were all sleeping in Britain and probably getting pretty snowed in. Asus, the netbook kings behind the EEE PC line, have done it again, this time with a laptop, with the NX90 with Bang & Olufsen ice power speakers. Now, this is the first laptop ever to boast speakers outside of the main body of the laptop, and they're absolutely fantastic just by the looks of things. We're going to be checking it out tomorrow on the Asus stand. But the first don't stop there. It's also the first laptop computer to have two touchpads that are book-ended at either side of the keypad. Quite a revolutionary design there. It's got an 18.4-inch LED backlit full high-definition 1080p screen and a Blu-ray player to make this a real multimedia powerhouse. A little later after the ASUS press conference today was the Samsung press conference and the star of the show was the Samsung 9000 series televisions and one of which is literally stick thin at only 0.3 inches in slimness. It's an LED TV but not only is it slick, it also has a pretty handy remote. In the remote, there's another screen that actually shows live TV while you're catching up with the latest movies on Blu-ray or your favourite TV shows. Thanks for that, Reid. Now, we barely had an opportunity to get that much sleep here in Vegas because LG, in their wisdom, decided to hold their press conference at 8am this morning. Thanks very much for that, but it was definitely worth getting up early for because they announced a brand new range of LED TVs they're calling the Infinia range. Each of these super slim TVs pack the new Magic user interface and some will use the Magic Motion remote control, which is like a Wiimote for TVs, the first we've ever seen. We had a play with this today and shot some video, so check it out on the T3 CES website. As well as the, the, the Wiimote-like device, you can also use Skype on there as well, and there'll be some 3D models as well coming later in the year. The first of the Infinia ranges will be out in April. Sticking with Samsung, they also announced a pair of ebook readers which we're expecting to see quite a lot of this year. The E6 and the E101 was launched. The E6 is a 6 inch ebook reader and the E101 a 10 inch ebook reader. Both are touchscreen but both also have physical keys that slide out from beneath the screen. It also has text to speech, so if you are feeling a little lazy and can't be bothered to read your book, the ebook reader will actually read it to you, albeit in a slightly robotic manner. They've both got Wi Fi compatibility, and Samsung have even teamed up with Google, both of which will be available in March 2010. Last up for me, I've got the Toshiba Cell TV. Now here we go with Toshiba again, trying to do the impossible. This time they're trying to upgrade 2D TV to 3D TV, thanks to some super fast processors that they've brought into this Cell TV. It's also got a built-in Blu-ray player and a one terabyte hard drive for storing all your media. Could this be the TV of the future? Toshiba certainly thinks so. Bringing in the last conferences of today is the big one, it is Microsoft's keynote and it's expected to draw in crowds of around 3,000 journalists hungry to see Steve Ballmer take centre stage. And the rumour mill has already got started with news that they could possibly be teaming up with HP to announce a slate, pipping Apple to the post who are anticipated to launch the iSlate in a matter of weeks. I'm going to go to the press conference now and get the skinny on it all, but you keep it locked to t3.com forward slash CES for all the videos, highlights and the news as it happens here in Vegas. Thank <laughs> you.